Simon Holding. I joined in for mine about 12 years ago to start the educational division within InfoMine. Andy and I went to university together many years ago, so we've known each other for a long time. And uh, we came up with this idea of affordable, effective education for the mining community around the world. And I joined InfoMine to put together a, a platform to deliver this education and then to gather courses, authors, presenters who could help us put the information together. Some core mining courses, um, some of them were environmental courses, acid rock drainage prediction, that sort of thing. Um, then we got some professors at UBC to help us to put together some core mining courses on underground mining methods. Those courses are still with us, still doing well. We update them every now and then, bring them up to date. Now we're talking exclusively about online courses here. This online was a requirement for us because we wanted to deliver to people around the world. Literally, we have about 6,000 people now taking courses and they're in Tanzania, Argentina, Mongolia, Kazakhstan literally all over the world. Mining industry is quite conservative, difficult to get new ideas through, and it's taken us 12 years to really make a success out of this. That's one of them. Uh, another would be coming up with a, a format for our courses that minimize the bandwidth and could be delivered effectively in areas where internet connections are not that good. Uh, the most popular course by far is our Mining 101 course. There are many people out there, a lot of them not in mining, but who need to know about mining. And uh, Mining 101 gives them an introduction. Uh, aside from that, m most of our core mining courses are, are quite popular, whether we're talking about mine costing or mine management or mining methods, mine maintenance, mineral processing, these sorts of things, the core courses. The idea of delivering education to people around the world, helping to educate people really appeals to us and has been extremely satisfying, especially to think that we've got 6,000 people out there taking our courses. Um, that's part of it. Uh, the other part is getting over the hurdle of conservatism in the mining industry. Um, it's taken us a long time to get things going and uh, we've had to persevere, but it's, it's paid off really well. Well, about four years ago, we started doing more in the way of classroom courses. And we graduated from those to webcasts or using a webcast format for our courses. This is a, a synchronous format where people can ask questions, etc. Um, we're running one today on Mine Water Solutions. We have about 40 people in there, again, from all over the world. Um, they can ask questions. It's quite interactive. And we see this webcast format integrated with online e-learning as the way of the future. You need both. People need to be able to do a lot of their learning at their own pace, in their own environment, and then they get the, the interactive uh, component through a webcast.